Hi, assalamu alaikum. Let's continue chapter 5 chemical bonding with lesson 31. Metallic bonding has properties of malleability, ductility, electrical and thermal conductivity. We need to be able to illustrate the formation of metallic bonding using electron C model and explain the factors that affect the strength of metallic bonding that will also gives effect on the boiling point. Metallic bond exists in metals. Metals are solids in room temperature with high melting points and densities. Among the properties of metals are it is lustrous. In other words, it is shining, it is gleaming, it is sparkling. The second one is it is malleable, meaning that it can be hammered into shapes that we want them to be. Ductile means it is able to be drawn out into a thin wire and it is fusible, meaning it is able to be fused or melted. All these properties is described well in your course book, page 104, when we are learning the previous chapter. Metals are also a good heat conductors and electrical conductors. A metallic bond can be defined as the electrostatic force between the positively charged metallic ions and the sea of electrons. Okay, let's look at how we draw the metals solid by using the electron C model. Let's say we have sodium. Okay, sodium has a positive charge. Okay, we circle it. Assuming that is the nucleus of the solid, sodium, which is positively charged. Why is it positively charged? Because the electron, one electron is moving all around the solid structure. The electron can be here. And then the electron can be here. So basically, this is how we draw the metal solid by using the electron C model. You can label here. These are the C of mobile electrons. Electrons can move around in any atoms within the structure in order to conduct heat and electricity. Metal atoms is imagined as an array of positive ions immersed in a sea of delocalized valence electrons. These delocalized electrons are not bound to individual atoms and they can therefore serve to bind large numbers of metal atoms together. The change of melting points and boiling points can be seen whereby a melting point of a metal indicates the strength of its metallic bonding in its structure. The strength of the metallic bonding depends basically on the number of valence electron and the value of the positive charge. So the bonding will be weaker in sodium, the one that we have drawn earlier, because it has only one valence electron and one positive charge, compared to magnesium having two valence electron and two positive charge, and aluminium has the highest metallic bonding strength, which is three valence electron and three positive charge. This table showed that the melting points and the boiling points for the elements in group 1, 2 and 13. 
So you can see that the increase of the melting and the boiling point is gradually, steadily, from sodium to magnesium and to aluminium because the valence electron is 1, 2, and 3 each. So as lithium, beryllium, and boron. Their melting point and boiling points are also gradually increased. We have finished Chapter 5. Thank you very much for listening, and let's do the best in the final exam. Bye!